found my rag with oil on it, huh? Yeah, that's what we needed while I was welding. <laughs> All right, y'all just went down the road, shipped it one, two, three. Feeling good, suspension's feeling all right. Ran into the first little problem over here. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Tuesday, June 4th today. We got Mikey back over here today helping with, helping me with some mundane tasks of shortening up this bumper and getting it level because before my bumper sat like this, and you know these year cars got goofy ass bumpers where they stick out a mile long. We gonna suck it in, just like Mikey's belly. <laughs> Let me show you what else I'm doing. I'm replacing this junk because it's all it, the stuff's gone on the inside with a new one so I can have some at least running lights. That's gonna be good for me there. Maki, what you think about that hood clearance? Perfect. Perfect. Don't mind this. Don't mind this. Tell them, this. tell them what your idea is to fix it. Go up against the tree at like, I don't know, maybe 60 miles an hour. Push it right on back. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Or take a sledgehammer right now. Sledgehammer. You could maybe take a crescent wrench, channel lock, and peel it back. <gasps> Drive it into one of your other vehicles. Drive it into the Suburban. Man, that would make for nice content. Man, y'all got the hood on looking good. About to come install that bumper. Stay tuned. All right, so we got the we got the two running lights figured out. Hoods on, bumpers on. We looking good. About to actually pull it forward, see if the brakes will hold it. I still I think I'm still a quarter too low on the transmission because it still ain't on the dipstick. We'll figure that out later. But it's got 11 quarts in it right now, so that's a lot of quarts. We're gonna go ahead and pull it forward. So I could finish putting some bolts in the fender, and we're gonna go from there. Score some well in the floor. Maybe I need to supply more rear brake pressure. I ain't giving it none right now. Like I barely give it any effort. I'm talking like I barely tense the gas. This thing's gonna blow the fucking tires off, yeah. I hate to tell y'all that. And that's without the line lock. I got a line lock on this thing. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and cut y'all off. We're gonna go ahead and add some bolts to the fender. Y'all don't even care about fender bolt installs. We got Mikey on the beat. He's running a couple bees for us. Typically, I'm the welder, but he's going ahead and throwing down a couple bees while I edit this video, this burnout video. Stay tuned. You already know we had to test the posi unit on this rig. It works. You found my rag with oil on it, huh? Yeah, that's what we needed while I was welding. <laughs> I was laying on it. Well, go ahead and get that out because we're next to flammable liquids. It smell Earl, doesn't it? Oh, it smells so yummy. Yeah, that one's covered in Earl. <laughs> Bottom of your shoes on fire there, Mike. Uh, uh, <laughs> I kind of wish it was. You wouldn't be able to go to work. You'd have to sue me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll both be broke. 
<laughs> All right, y'all, I'm under here trying to cut these old wires and figure this out. Look at these exhaust tips I left on there, for sure. Yeah, I think I ought to leave that on there or take it off. I vote leave it on, because the real exhaust tips are there. Mikey, go ahead and give me a zero to 60 rip with this thing right quick. We're gonna do it in about an hour. All right. It honestly went pretty good, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. All right, y'all, that's it for the day. We got some good stuff knocked out. Tomorrow, I'm gonna work underneath that dash, install some lights. Try the seam seal of floor pans. I don't know yet. That's what I'm dealing with now. I'm tired right now, y'all. Later, I'm going to bed. It's 11 o'clock on a work night. Yeah. Thank you. About to come install these LED night vision sealed beam lights from Napa in that L. Just like I got in this dually right here. They're a little pricey, but I know they're bright. So if y'all want to check that part number out, get you some. All right, got this one installed. Show y'all how to pop the other one in. What was that? Oh, that was your car? Hold it right here. Hold this. Why do you feel like you got to hold it with just one finger? No, son, I'm stronger than you. You suffering? Dude, dude, it's not that serious. All right, you good. Let it go. Wow, that was hard work, huh? Oh yeah, y'all, just the same as the dually. Lights are looking super bright. Hey, go, go ahead and put the seat on. Okay. Turn the light back on for light. Y'all, our friends over at the Sweet Patina sent me out a nice little care package these wipes are awesome i've showed them on this channel in the past sweet patina tko wipes need to get you some of them them things get that gruber tail off your hands like it's nut just don't eat them y'all i made that mistake and my tongue went numb we got the glass wipe we got the sticky icky what is this oh tire shine we got the get her done Degreaser. We got the we got that OG patina sauce wipe on. We got some blackout rust preventative coating. We got some polish for them wheels. We got some paintable under rubberized undercoat. We got that ski ski, that penetrating lube. We got some spray on patina sauce. That's cool. We got that so fresh and so clean, all purpose cleaner. And we got that happy ending, that little spray on detail wipe. Ooh -wee. Go ahead and head over to their website, y'all. They got good stuff. All right, y'all, we got headlights. I got rear running lights and brake lights. I changed the brake light switch. Now I'm underneath the dashboard, hooking up all the AC stuff. Go put all the dash back to like it was, even with all this. So that way I could seam seal these floors, cover them with the sound dead and stuff, and we're gonna go from there. Can't forget the ball chiller, man. Drivers and passengers. 
What up, y'all? Thursday evening after work. Just pulled the dually and the Elko out. I'm coming pick up all this mess, y'all. I'm starting to get stressed out. Y'all know me. If y'all watch my channel, y'all know that after about three days of walking over stuff, I started to get ants. So, got out seeing some sunshine for the first time in three damn days. I need to lift the front end up. It's sitting a little too low because I know the suspension is going to have to settle. I want it to end up here after a couple miles. Look good, yeah? Got it cleaned up. Now, let's go ahead and put that El Camino back in here. Let's continue work. to a couple stores i gotta go run to home depot for a roller for that sound deadener from heat shield products and i gotta go run to harbor freight for a couple items specifically air conditioner stuff like gauges a compressor i mean a vacuum pump some shims a couple other little knickknacks let's go ahead and get it all right y'all uh, back from the store i got me a timing light a roller kit some shims Adapter for the AC charge. I got me a mirror, some Freon. One of these here. Power outlet to charge all stuff. Some bulbs. Bought me a vacuum pump. And a manifold gauge shit, yeah. We'll get her going. Let me go pop these bulbs in here right quick. What up, y'all? I know the last thing I showed you was what I got from the stores, but it's one in the morning now. I cleaned up the floors. I finished up some wires. Ripped all the headliner down and unnecessary wires. And let me show you what I just did. I just laid down the seam sealer. I'm, while that cures, I'm gonna come work on the electric motors in these doors because they don't work anymore. But I know they got power because this one like tries to go up and down about a quarter inch. And that one actually works. It just works really slow. So let's fool with that. I got, a, I got this kit from New Relics. It's all brand new modern motors, so you ain't got to deal with these slow half a mile an hour motors. So let me go ahead and get this installed, yeah. We're going to be installing this kit right here, y'all, from New Relics. They use modern stuff instead of the old junk motors that they that come in here. So let me get that rolling. Check this kit out, y'all. Made in the USA. Let's go ahead and try to get these installed. Look at all the stuff that fell out this door. This thing is gross. All right, y'all, I went in at four last night four in the morning, whatever you want to call it. I got the floor seam sealed, the door, I got the window regulator slash mold out. Dude, cut my hands all up, that was aggravated. So let's come put this back together because I don't even know if I'm gonna do the other side, dude. That's too much, takes too much time and you need help to hold this glass up and I just ain't got help. So 
I'm gonna I'm do what I could do. I gotta get this car done. We leaving Sunday. All right, y'all. All that aggravation was kind of worth it because check this out. Man, that thing go up so fast it sound like it's breaking stuff. New Relics power windows, y'all. This an upgraded kit if y'all looking for one yourself. With a new iron harness. I just tied it into the old harness just to get power, but y'all see what I'm talking about. What up, y'all? Started making that seat bracket and I was distracted and I cut the piece of metal too short. Well, now I don't have enough material to cut two of the correct length, so I'm going to the store, going to get metal, going to get some half inch bolts, a couple other stuff. I'm tired, y'all, but we're going to make it. It's Friday at 3.42 right now. And also, keep in mind, y'all, I haven't even taken this car on a test drive yet. I ain't did nothing but pulled it in the driveway one time. And I'm about to do a road trip. Drop a comment if y'all think that's crazy. If, like, you never rode something even around your hometown and then you're taking on like a 3,000 mile round trip road trip. Pretty much the same thing I did with the Dooley though. I must have had more energy for that build, y'all, because I even painted that thing. What the heck? Hi, y'all. Uh... Got the door put back together for like the eighth time because one of the little rollers kept popping off. I two-part epoxy that sucker, let it dry. Now it looks like it's holding good. It was like doing this before, but now it's good. Marking the seat up right now. Making uh, seat brackets. Man, y'all, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm tired. I could sleep for 32 hours after this. But I can't, I gotta go work again tomorrow on this thing. My goal today is to get a seat in it, take it down the street, come back, pull a seat out, sound dead in the floor with this roll on stuff, let it dry, and then tomorrow put the seat back in, do a final assembly, wash it, and then I'm ready to leave Sunday morning. Fingers crossed, y'all. Let's well up these ghetto seat brackets I made, yeah. One ugly seat bracket complete. We'll go ahead and bust the other one down, y'all. Yeah. I'ma hit it with some rust on that gloss black. And it's going to look like a SEMA build. All right, y'all. Pulling a vacuum right now. Going to leave a vacuum on this AC system for a little while. Let it do its thing while I come do that. Heat Shield Products DB Armor. And Stealth Shield. While I let that first coat dry, I'm coming to install my sticker with my I am McLovin ID. Yeah, y'all. I realized I didn't have a sticker, so I made this YouTube, Instagram, do a speed shop sticker so it could be noticeable. Because my little do a speed shop sticker is cool, but you don't know what that is. You don't know if that's a channel, if that's an actual speed shop, so this sticker should explain it for people. All right, y'all. I know I just put the decibel kill on it, but I had some, some sound deadening left over from the dually build, and I've been itching to use it. So it could never hurt you to have double sound deadening, right? Especially if you don't plan on running carpet, which I don't. 
So let me show y'all what I'm working with. This is what's underneath the carpet in the door. I ordered way too much of this stuff for that bill, so I'm using the rest of it. See that? Heat Shield's product was a paint on and it's really light. So like a race car, you wouldn't want to put this, cause this stuff got some weight to it, right? This stuff's, this stuff will add a hundred pounds to your rig. This stuff, if you're trying to go fast, both of them, if you're just crazy like me. All right, y'all, it's 1.30 Saturday morning. Still in the garage. Got it double sound dead. Got the El Camino little tray in there. So I could put my fire extinguisher in there and a cigarette. Sounding nice. Now I'm coming lay down the heat shield products. Got the seat in, y'all. But I got that thing laid back. Of course I ain't gonna drive like that. I was just seeing how far I could lay back. In case I want to take me a little nap in there, y'all. Yeah? Only thing I regret is the center hump. The factory bench has a cutout for it. This one's a flat bottom. So the seat has to sit a little higher than I prefer. But with the lay back, I still look like I'm chilling in it. And no tilt on the steering wheel is a little funny too. No tilt with a big wheel. That's how I'm look like a gangster in this boat. They see me rolling, they hating, they laughing, they trying to get me right in there. What up, y'all? Saturday morning, about 10. I went in at about 4, 4 in the morning, got a couple hours sleep. We back out here. I'm putting a fitting on the intake so I could hook up my vacuum ball for all the air conditioning accessories. We still holding 30 pounds or 29 pounds of uh, vacuum. So we good to charge this AC. I pulled a vacuum for about an hour twice yesterday so we got two hours total vacuum pull on that thing compressors should be pre-filled from the factory I, I emailed the company i bought it from so shouldn't have to do that i gotta do that hook up the compressor should be good with that and a few other little knickknacks y'all but we looking good the interior is fully in i might have showed y'all that i can't remember it was late and i was hallucinating <laughs> all right y'all let me get to work all right, y'all, so I just hooked up my vacuum ball to the air conditioning stuff, and everything works, right? I turn the car on. When I hit vacuum, when I hit max AC, it opened up all the different stuff, and now the air is coming out the vent, just like it should be. So now I'm wiring up my compressor to the factory wiring harness. I'm using my weather pack kit. It's a nice kit, y'all. I'll get y'all one like that, y'all. Yeah? All right, y'all. We got the compressor wired up. I'm coming. Put one can in it. I got that AC Pro first charge. This is a first charge. Instantly lubricates new compressors and absorbs moisture. Probably, I probably didn't need it, but I don't know. Makes me feel good. All right, y'all. Sitting in this thing. Making sure everything's open. I had to clean the vacuum line that went to the recirculation little flap to let this cool air keep recirculating. So it feels good in here, y'all. I put three cans. I might need to add three and a half. I don't know. I got to check my pressures. But right now, this thing is cold. I'm not Kelly. I don't know. I'm, I don't go down to the nanometer, but I charged it pretty good. Going to run the Napa real right quick. I started studying. From the factory, that thing takes 3.2 pounds of R12. And 
with the retrofit kit that I did with the new updated shit, it says it needs to be 10 to 15 percent less than that. So 10 to 15 percent less than that is like 2.8 pounds, which is like 44 ounces. So I need to add another half a can. And we gonna be rolling, y'all. Cause I did put a pretty big condenser in there. I knew a parallel flow, not the old tube type. That nice one. It feels good in there, y'all. I need to figure out a way to block off. I'm losing a lot of my vent air through some leaks. Like I got a gap between the box and that little vent by that big. I need to fill that with fill that with something. Originally it had like a foam gasket right there. I need to go add that. Cause I need more vent air. While I start getting in a truck with no air conditioner. All right, y'all. Just let the car idle for an hour. Everything seems good. We got water draining out like it should. AC water. All fluids are topped off. I just put a piece of trim on the back tailgate. Now I'm coming lift it up and fix. Come in. Wrap it with the wrap the exhaust pipe with that heat shield stuff. Figure out how to mount these tail light bulbs temporarily because my housings are dry right. And come lift up the front a little bit. It's a little too low for my taste. And plus it'll have the suspension will settle, so get it done. Alright y'all. Got everything wrapped up, got the tail lights mounted behind the lens. Temporary fix. I, I put a piece of metal and zip tied the, the socket and bulb to it. So the bulb is directly behind the lens. And we're going to get it going. All right, y'all. I just did the good old fashioned string alignment on it. Got it set to an eighth inch toe in. And I just eyeballed the camber. I put a quarter inch shim all the way around and it looked good. Let's go take a test drive. Get Dawson. All right, y'all. Just went down the road, shifted one, two, three. Feeling good. Suspension's feeling all right. We're gonna be smelling a little burning because I just put that heat shield stuff on the muffler. That's gonna burn for a little while. It's doing everything it's supposed to do, y'all. My alignment's is going straight. Show the road. Going good luck. I do, I do wish I had some uh, hub centric rings though on my wheels, cause that's not conical seat lug. So I feel a slight bounce. But other than that, it's all right. All right, y'all. See y'all in a minute. Joker said, I guess he got to ride in the trunk. There's no trunk. What you think about it? Good. You love it? What that is right there? Alchemy Dad. Heck yeah. You ready to go on power tour? All right, y'all. It made it here on its first little couple miles. Good. Nothing catastrophic happened, so I guess it could do a couple hundred miles. Putting a little gas in her for the first time. Other than my little tin I poured in the gas can. Passing a little soap on her. Nothing too crazy. I already lost my dang caps on these Louisiana roads, y'all. Let me go ahead and wash this thing, y'all. I'm just about worn out, y'all. I need a shower. And I need to go to bed. What up, y'all? It's Sunday morning. It's about 3.50. I know the last thing I showed y'all was washing this thing. But after washing it, I started it. And it kept stalling out on me. I couldn't even touch the carburetor. So I think it was vapor lock. 
So instead of like trying to change, add a spacer on the road and getting stuck in traffic, I'm gonna rob Peter to pay Paul. I'm gonna go ahead and take the spacer off of this, under this carburetor and put it under this one. This one got like a half inch thick phenolic space on it. And that's what we need to keep the heat out of that carburetor so it don't vapor a lot. Let me get to that, y'all. All right, got the spacer from underneath that carburetor. Now I gotta come pull this carb and put this there. And this motor's still warm after five hours. All right, y'all, got it all back together. We sit a little high, so I don't know if the hood's gonna close. Let's do a crank up just to do a fuel leak check. Everything is looking good. Guess it's time to pack her up. y'all in Bowling Green. Just made it into Mississippi, y'all. I missed the uh, sign. Just wanted to give y'all an update. Ricky Bobby's sleeping already. Made it to our first gas station stop. How many miles we went? 186, 186 miles. We're gonna come calculate the MPGs. Everything's looking good. That spacer looks like it's doing good because the carburetor is physically cold to the touch where the fuel is. Sorry. Yeah, I calculated that number and I get 11 miles to the gallon. That's not too bad for a big black Chevrolet with a carburetor. First little problem over here. I blew the, the glass fuse that goes to the high side of the blow. And this gentleman right here got a, uh, everything I need. You got a butt connector, some uh, strippers, crumper. Appreciate you, man. What's your name? Lucian Wicker. All right. Nice to meet nice you, bro. Meet you. Man, y'all, that dude was from Louisiana too. Super nice fella. He sent me a trip to the auto parts store, gave me a butt connector to fix, uh, hook them two wires together. 
what happened was it was a glass fuse connection and you know how old glass fuse connections they don't they don't make that good of contact so they burn up i just put it straight to it now we got air conditioning blowing cold again thank you bro thank you bro if you're gonna watch this video the first rain of the trip y'all and I ain't got no wipers and I forgot to put the rain X on the windshield it's the next exit but we just put in a, a random goodwill we're gonna go see if we can find some shakes you like that bike Found me a shirt at Goodwill. They only got one shirt over there, man. It's crazy that I can't find no Wack and Wednesday shirts ever. People must have caught on and now they're buying all the shirts. Just finished putting 13 gallons in this bad boy. Now I'm going to see if they got a Ran X. The first classic car I see on the road. Almost 600 miles traveled. And that's the first old car I've seen. That thing looks like it's ready for power to. That was the wrong address, y'all. That was their warehouse. We gotta go to a different address about 15 minutes away from that. here with some bystanders we trying to fix this headlight that's a nice shirt it's sexy give me a little drip bro excuse the suntan lotion missing <laughs> my headlight then dropped i couldn't see i was looking directly at the ground in front of me so we gotta come fix that up put some zip ties there we're gonna be rocking and rolling yeah we ain't we ain't no vice group garage but I'm getting some good help out here. Throwing the whole tool bag at this sucker just to hold a light up. Man, I ain't even gotta do nothing out here. A1 service. You've been doing the work yourself. It's time to let somebody else take care of it for you. That's what I'm talking about. Letting someone help out. That's what I'm talking about. Damn weirdos from Pennsylvania coming down here. <laughs> Must well do something yeah, that you're used for, right? Yeah, make yourself you. Tighten that little screw. That's and while you're at it, fix, fix this piece of trim. That might be what I heard hitting the top. Let me get down here. Come and check the Holly Warehouse out with Sparky. What up? How not it, not implemented with spark plugs in the slightest. This will be my first power tour with this truck. This truck's been in my family my whole life. I am uh, 39 years old, so yeah, I'll show you something real quick. You like this truck because it does burnouts? And I, and then I like that car, and that truck, and shit. I you like everything? Let's go look at that one. This one? Yeah. Oh. That gonna be me when I get my bread truck finished. Dawson, what you think about them ties? He's gonna light them up? Yeah, and put them in the fire and the truck. He ain't gonna put them in fire. They gonna, that's bad for the environment. <laughs> as, as if we care about the environment around here. Alright y'all, we went eat, we just pulled up to 
A little motel, we parked up, unpacked, talking to these fine gentlemen here. This his sexy Monte Carlo right here, telling me the whole rundown on it. He's a diehard power touring to the 2017 to 2023, minus that random weird COVID year. I don't know about that. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is where I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off, and I'm going to start y'all a new one tomorrow. First day of power tour. What you got to say about that? Say excuse the drip for me right quick. Excuse the drip.